Structured outputs are now supported on Mosaic AI model serving as part of the foundational models APIs. So Lara, why do we need structured outputs? So why is this important for us? It's important because when you get outputs from your LLM in natural language, it can be really messy sometimes, right? So even when you give LLMs really precise instructions, you don't always get the exact structure that uh, you wanted. And it's important because often you need to, uh, for the output to follow a certain structure so that you can parse it the way you want or when you want to start building complex systems, maybe you need to have those structured outputs because they're going to be as a next step, you know, the input in your pipeline. You can always tell the LLM the schema that you want and that you want a JSON format, etc. but it's not 100% reliable. But now with this announcement, you can now specify a JSON schema to format the responses that are generated from your chat models. And uh, as noted here, it is OpenAI compatible. Amazing. So any particular scenarios that this is really useful? It's useful. Uh, we'll see in a sec, you know, like when you uh, when you want to, for example, extract structured, structured data from unstructured data, I'll do a demo where we can extract structured data from academic papers, for example. Or for example, let's imagine that you have uh, product reviews and you want to uh, classify them, whether they're negative, positive, or neutral. Or if you need to do batch inference tasks, batch inference tasks, you will need to have outputs uh, that follow a specified schema. So for all those scenarios, that's something where this new feature is very useful. Nice. So should we have a look at the demo and how this looks like? Yes, exactly. So if you take a look at the documentation, that really gives you some starter code. So here you can see this is the, the thing that changed. So now you can specify the response format and then, you know, add it in uh, here. So let's jump into a demo where I'm querying a model Query. Lama 3170B. Here I'm just setting up everything. So just the fact that, you know, you need a token, you need a base URL for the foundation model API to be able to, you know, talk to the endpoints, etc. And so this is where we're going to add the response format. So our goal here, if I jump very quickly into the data that we're analyzing, we're analyzing academic papers, um, medical in the medical sector. So every time you have a title, abstract, the journal, the authors, etc. And so our goal here is that we want to uh, extract the title, authors, and keywords in this JSON format. And so that's where, you know, you can specify it. And uh, obviously here we specified all those things, but if the schema is not known beforehand, you could just write the following and just let it do its work. And so here I then added the response format to, to include it here and uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, so we just took a look at the data here. I just took a sample of like three papers just because I wanted this to run uh, in a few, just in a few uh, seconds. Uh, and so first I'm processing the data very simply. This is because if you look here, uh, there was uh, there was a lot where, you know, like the data, sometimes it was like nested. So I needed to flatten the rows so that it becomes like, you know, something that I can easily feed into an LLM so that the LLM can understand. So we want a list of strings, each one describing a paper. Um, and so that's what I did uh, here. And as you can see, this is what we're feeding the LLM. And so this is very clearly unstructured uh, text. So that's what's being fed. And now if you look at the prompt, what's really great is that it's going, the LLM output is going to conform to exactly the structure that you specified, even though the prompt is very short. I just said, your task is to convert uh, the information from three research papers into the given structure 
the structure being the one that we specified above. And if we look at the um, output here, so we have our three examples that appear here, I get my list of authors in the in the um, format that I want, then keywords, so cancer immunology, immunotherapy, CAR T cell therapy, and then the title. And it did that very well for each of the papers. So I have again, the authors here, and then the keywords starting here, and then the title, and then finally also for uh, this one. So in this one, it got a lot of keywords. So obviously I could also find you in the prompt to say, keep it short or something like this. So yeah, that's about it. So very, very useful to be able to use those, uh, those structured outputs. <laughs> Thank you, Lara.